come from behind victory for the Nets to snap that four-game losing streak the way they did it, storming back against a Denver team that was red hot in the first half. They waited them out in many ways, RJ, and in the second half, you saw signs of it, of course, in the second quarter, but really third quarter, Blake Griffin and company, and then fourth quarter, Kevin Durant time, Nets get it done when necessary down the stretch. Yeah, and it was impressive. Each quarter, the Nets defense got better every single step along the way, giving up 37 to start the fourth quarter, but our, our, the start the game, and then only 15 in the fourth. That is the defense, but you can't ease into these games. As they progress, as they start getting going against better and better teams, especially in the postseason, you got to come out and hit first, not on the offensive end, because we know that'll be there, but on the defensive end. And the fact that it had that playoff feel in many ways because the Nets are going to get tested come the postseason. Where they fit in still remains to be seen. Could be the two seed, could be the three seed. Philadelphia would have to really stumble for them to have any chance at the one seed. But really for this two seed, it had to start here. If the Nets are going to grab that two seed, they're basically going to have to win out. And you don't win out unless you win to start a streak. Yeah, and look, you are the Brooklyn Nets. They are one of the teams that are favored to win a championship. So while their loss is against a Portland team, that's a playoff team. The Milwaukee, uh, two games at Milwaukee, and then Dallas, those are four playoff teams. But you can't go 0-4 versus postseason teams if you feel like you're about to win a championship, and this is two weeks before the postseason. So it was good to see them answer. It was good to see them come out and fight and get better over the course of the game. And, Richard, one thing we do know, Chicago will not be a postseason team. So now the Nets need to take advantage of what's left on their schedule. That includes the Bulls coming up Tuesday night. Yeah, the Chicago Bulls still have a ton of talent, and you're 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 worried because this team, even though they might not be fighting for the postseason, it's the Brooklyn Nets. So when the Brooklyn Nets show up and, and any team gets an opportunity, you're going to get their best shot. So maybe they're going to look at this as like a playoff game. So the Brooklyn Nets have to continue growing, and they have to continue trending, and that we are going to hit you first with a defensive mindset. A resounding rally for the Brooklyn Nets against the Denver Nuggets. They snap that losing streak, and they move back into the number two spot, at least for now, a half game ahead of the Milwaukee Bucks.